Welcome to the best of CAT series by IMS. Today we'll be solving a summary question from CAT 2017. This is a particularly interesting question because of the way the options have been framed. However, I would advise you to pause the video right now before you look at the solution. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, you can join the IMS zero fee prep programs that will give you access to concept videos, sectionals, full length tests and more for free. You may click on the i button or on the link in the description box below to access the same. Happy learning. We're going to solve this question using the XYZ method. Let's get started with that. The first part of this question talks about a caterpillar. You don't need to memorize the name, but all that we're really saying is that this particular caterpillar seems like it is an easy prey, but actually it's not. Why? Because it has a trick up its sleeve. So that's our first point, X. The second point talks about the whistle that this caterpillar produces. And all that it's really trying to say is that this whistle is not just loud and therefore scary. This whistle mimics or copies or resembles a bird alarm call. And because it resembles a bird's alarm call, it scares the predators away because the predators are nothing but birds. So we've simplified this whole chunk of text into a single line. Again, when you're solving summary questions, please remember not every detail is important. The third point is that even though this creature is very small, the whistle is really loud. And that's all that it's saying at the end. So we have our X, Y, and Z. We're going to use these points to eliminate options. The first thing is that we have to talk about the trick. The second thing is the whistle, which mimics a bird alarm call and therefore scares predators away. And the third part is how loud this whistle is. As long as we cover all three points, we're good. We'll have our answer. Let's look at option one. North American walnut sphinx moth caterpillar will whistle periodically. So you should stop right here and say, huh, what does whistle periodically mean? Does it whistle every five minutes, every week, every month? See, the original text does not say that it whistles periodically. When does it whistle? When it is under threat, when a bird is pecking it. So option one is a little off from the very beginning. But let's read further and see if we can find other reasons. They have a specialized vocal tract that helps them whistle. Again, this is fine. It captures some of the details, but it also misses out on some really important points. Point X, the fact that it has a trick up its sleeve has not been covered. After that, point Z, the fact that the whistle is really loud has also not been covered. So actually option one is a fairly limited option and it's also inaccurate. We should eliminate it. Let's look at option two. This caterpillar, I'm going to avoid saying the name again, can whistle very loudly. So that is our point Z. The loudness of their whistles is shocking as they are very small insects. So this seems to focus only on point Z. It doesn't talk about the trick up its sleeve, nor does it talk about the fact that the whistle mimics a bird's alarm call. So option two again is not really what we're looking for. Fairly easy to eliminate. The third one, North American walnut sphinx moth caterpillars in a case of acoustic deception. Now you need to understand what acoustic deception is. It kind of is talking about a trick up its sleeve. That is the deception part. Acoustic obviously has to do with sound. So even though the words have been changed, the meaning remains unchanged. Again, one of the tricks that these questions play on you is that they change the words and you think that this is probably not what the original author intended. But acoustic deception is actually talking about point X. It produces whistles that mimic bird alarm calls. This is our point Y to defend themselves. Now here we might notice that it does not really talk about point Z, which means that it's not a perfect option. But then a lot of times you do not get perfect options. So we should still retain it because there's nothing inaccurate about it. Let's look at the fourth option. Again, this caterpillar in a case of deception, which is fine because it talks about having a trick up its sleeve, which is equal to deception and camouflage. This is the problem with option four. Nowhere does the author talk about camouflage hiding in the background. So option four introduces information that is not part of the original text. It's completely out of scope. 
which is why option 4 needs to be eliminated. Option 3, even though it's not sheer perfection, will still have to be our answer because it's much better than all of the others.